I'll tell you guys something. Let me tell you about my father, okay? He, uh, he loves you, and he knows what you're worth. The problem is that we don't really know what we're worth. I want everybody to know in here, who's saved in here? Show of hands. Okay. Who's not saved? Show of hands. Okay. Awesome. See, you're with, you're with brothers right now, brother. You just don't know it yet. But you're a spirit first. You're not a mind that lives in a body that has a spirit. You're a spirit first that has a mind that lives in a body. See, Jesus didn't die because you were a sinner. And we teach that. He died because you're a son. Come on. Come on. Okay? And sons of God do not bow to the laws of this world. Come on. Okay? These rules don't apply to me. And they don't apply to you. You can take the laws. Do you feel it on your skin? Do you feel it on your skin? You will hear in a little bit. Because wherever I go, my father's with me. Amen. Okay? <laughs> wherever we go, as men of God, the earth, the world, and everything that belongs to it will take a knee. But only do it if you understand who you are. Right. I'm not here to tell you who I am. Jesus is the real star. I'm just his hype man. I tell everybody that. It's the Christ in me. And it's awesome what's going on here at 209. This is just a tiny window compared to what can happen in your life. Okay? Now, hear me out. We've been training people all over the world. But I want you to understand, this isn't about what I'm doing. Because it's the spirit in me. It's the same spirit that's in you. Okay? He didn't just say one day, hey, I think I'm going to go teach people. I think I'm just going to do this whole kingdom thing. Jesus wrote it down before I even existed. This kingdom was made for you. This kingdom exists so you can walk in it. So you can live in it. This is where everything the enemy has can't touch you. Do you know why the Bible says that the devil goes around like a lion seeking who, who he may devour? Because when you're in the kingdom of God, he can't find you. Woo. See, not everybody can be devoured. He can't devour me. You know why? Because it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. But I'm talking about you too. See, it's easy to say, let's watch Pete put hands on a deaf guy. And it's easy to watch Pete put his hands on someone that's in pain. But what we don't understand is that same spirit that's doing the healing is the same spirit that lives in you. Yeah. And I want to let you guys know something. The only reason that I'm here is because of you. Because I want to see young people just like you. I mean, it's amazing to see you all in here. You guys drove all the way in, you know, and it's amazing. I get excited. But imagine if you really understood what was inside of you. Did you know that you're seated right now with Christ in heavenly places? Did you know that you are seated on the throne? Did you know you didn't even put yourself there? Did you know Christ put you there? Did you know when Christ put you there, no one can take you down? Did you know that? Look, it ain't even about me. Come here, brother. Come here, man. Hey, bro. Come here. Come here, man. I want to show you something. Come here. Come here. Come here. Man. Come here. Look. Come up here. Somebody give me a chair. Let me show you something, brother. See? Because it ain't even about me. Go ahead and sit down right there. Take your spot, bro. 
See, the Bible says this. The Bible says that Jesus came to save that which was lost. We have a brother that's lost. And the Bible says that he can eat with kings. He can, he can eat with royalty. See, he's royalty and he doesn't even know it. Come on. I know it. What? But this is what's amazing. Because this is why I exist. I exist for him. I don't exist for you. I exist to teach you and train you and build you up. But this is why I'm here. This is why we're here. This man right here. There's no race. There's no creed. There's no male nor female. And brother, I want to honor you today. I need to believe again. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Do you see all these people? Do you know why they're here? They're here for you. Watch this. Who's here for him? against the spirit of alcoholism and addiction and I command you now in the name of Jesus to do what you do best that's crawl and cower your way out of here in the name of Jesus because you have no say and Father I just thank you for this man because today today who's your Lord? Jesus Christ saved. You see how easy that changed? <laughs> Brother, I don't even know your name, man. What's your name? Daryl. My brother Daryl. This is your family, Daryl. I want to show you guys something. Who seriously has pain in here? Come up here right now. Please. Come here, man. Come here. Come here. Hey, I want to show you guys something, okay? Look, I'm going to show you guys something. Come here. I'm going to show you guys something, okay? Look. Look, man. Come on. Jesus. Come here, bro. Come on. Come, on. Come on. 
The Bible says that when, when the world began, that the Holy Spirit was hovering above the waters. Do you remember? This is before time. In fact, this is, and I love 1 John. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It's talking about before time even existed, the Word was there. The Holy Spirit has done every healing since the beginning of time. Is that right? So he knows what he's doing. Right? So I'm going to teach you how to minister healing without no condemnation, without no fear, without no worry. And this is how you do it. You recognize that the Spirit of Christ is in you. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives through me. Okay? And that's what you minister out of. You don't minister out of well, I cuss, or I have issues in my life, or maybe I'm not doing right, or maybe I'm not holy enough. Hebrews 10, 10 says, you've been sanctified forever. You've been made perfect in the eyes of Christ. Oh. And that is whether you believe in it or not. Some things exist whether you believe in them or not. And when Jesus says that he sees you perfect, I don't care if you believe it or not. I'm going to believe Jesus over you any day. Okay? You minister healing from this place. You've been made perfect. You've been made righteous. You've been made holy. You've been accepted by the Father. You are now a son of God. You've been translated from darkness into light. You are now required to bring those from darkness into light. That's your purpose. Your purpose is to be a light. And when you see people in pain, you're not saying, well, I don't know if I can do this. Because it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Okay? I don't do a healing ministry. This is a Jesus ministry. Okay? Right? It's not here. Where, where do you hear that? Shoulder. See, God is so good. He's so good. Look, he didn't just show up when you close your eyes and pray. Yeah. Come on. That's not the God I serve. People close their eyes. I'm like, why do you close your eyes? If the, the, if the disciples would have closed their eyes, they would have never written the New Testament. They would have never saw anything. Move your shoulder. Still hurt? It's effortless because it's effortless. That's right. It's effortless because I trust the Christ in me. And you can't snuff that out. In fact, if you're questioning the Christ in you when you die, you better question where you're going to go. 